<laughs> hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I hope you're well wherever you are in the world today. I am. And today I want to share with you something that I read this morning that I found very meaningful. It is from the Book of Awakening by Mark Nepo. And it's entitled, A Profound Bow. There is a yoga mudra, a kneeling posture of exercise, where by bringing your head to your chest while extending your arms up and out behind you, you can practice placing your head beneath your heart. And from this humbling position, you can't help but tire, and so you must put your arms down. With your head beneath your heart, you must stop doing. Soon after learning this, I came upon a woman who had been a nun, and she told me that she would practice for days upon days a similar posture of Gregorian chant. Incline, bow, and profound bow, each bringing the head lower and lower to the earth. This holds a powerful lesson for me. Time and time again, the head must be brought beneath the heart or the ego swells. If you do not bend, life will bend you. In this way, humility is accepting that your head belongs beneath your heart with your thinking subordinate to your feeling, with your will subordinate to the higher order. This acceptance is key to receiving grace. Lay your head down and the world of being will open its joys. But people, I found this reading very grounding today. And it is in the peace that it has brought to me that I urge us all as we set out to do our day-to-day -day activities of the day, we give ourselves the opportunity to pause once in a while and to take a profound bow where our head gets to be below our hearts where our feelings get to be listened to above the noise of our thinking, where the higher power and the higher order gets to take precedence to our individual and even our collective will. Mm. May you have a good day. Thank you for listening to me. Bye for now.